So if you've seen the series finale of Amphibia, then you all got to see all of our main characters grown up. Or, well, in Polly's case, older, though not completely grown up. In the series, though, we got to meet Polly as a little polywog, and she was a feisty little character, despite having no legs. And it felt like she was a polywog for such a long time. I'd have anxiety living in a bucket while also being fully aware, as we see with Polly. But eventually she gets her legs, and then in the 10 years later time skip, we see Polly, now as a teen, I assume, and her character design is the best. Same orange hair as her brother, and she kept her bow. It's a perfect mix with her work glove on one hand and a wrench in the other, and her overalls. It all matches Polly's personality perfectly. Okay, y'all are really calling me out on Hop Hop. I've totally seen all of y'all asking for him almost every day since I started the Amphibia series, but I gotta be honest, I've been avoiding him. I just wasn't sure how to go about drawing him. So far, I've been drawing these characters all in my own style, but sometimes with other series like The Bad Guys, I'll draw the characters as is, or exactly as they're portrayed in the movie or show, or at least as exact as my skills Allow. With Hop Pop, I felt like if I drew him exactly as we see him in the show, it would feel disingenuous. Like as if I didn't care enough about the character to do him in my own style and that couldn't be farther from the truth. Hop Pop is a great character and is probably the one that makes me laugh the most in the entire series. So here's Hop Pop who may or may not haunt your dreams from here on out. So when I drew Sprig, I talked about all the odd points brought up about Sprig's skin and how Hop Up kept kind of low-key freaking out that Sprig was wanted for his rare pink skin. And I closed it out with, what is all this leading up to? And the response from you all in the comments was pretty much the same. It's all leading up to showing the similarities between Sprig and his great, 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 I don't know how many greats, but great grandma, Lily Planter, who used to be known as Leaf. I did make Leaf's skin a bit brighter as well as her hair just to sort of make her resemble the sprig I drew. I also feel like her pink colored skin looking kind of orangey in the corn the king might have had to do with the episode being filtered with a sepia overtone. But anyways, who's next? I'm not saying I knew with 100% certainty that King Andreas was a shady dude from the beginning, but I had a hunch he was hiding something. I'm sure it was kind of obvious to most of y'all, but sometimes I'm a little dense. I think what threw me off was Sasha and Grime, who also had ulterior motives, and when they took control of the Calamity Box, I was just like, oh, okay, I guess King Andreas is just a strange dude. So I really can't blame Anne for not trusting Sasha and Grime in the end, even though they were right. I also love the voice actor of King Andreas, Keith David. He's played in a ton of shows and movies like Mr. Charles and We Bear Bears, Glossaric from Star and the Forces of Evil, and just a ton of other things. So who should I draw next from Amphibia? Since I drew Polly Planner's older form, I figured it's only fair to draw Sprig's older form. And I kind of went with a sort of different take on him than my first drawing. If you check out my versions of Maddie, Ivy, and Leaf, I've been really liking how their faces came out. And I figured I'd do a more angular face shape for older Sprig too. I think the only thing that creeps me out slightly were probably his teeth in this piece that I drew. But overall, I'm actually way happier with it than my other version. Oh, and apparently the time jump for the amphibian world in the end of the series is only nine months, as opposed to me thinking it was also 10 years like in the human world where we see Anne, Sasha, and Marcy at 23 three years old. Which is kind of crazy to me because that means Polly grew up so much in just nine months. So who should I draw next? Grime is up next and I've had so many requests for this one. And just like Hop Hop, I've been kind of pushing it off pretty much for the same reasons. I was stuck between wondering how to translate him into my own style. With Hop Hop, I tried doing him in my style and well, he definitely became nightmare fuel for y'all. Myself included, if I'm being honest. So with Grime, I figured there's really no way to interpret him except for as is. So I was much more exact this time for this piece. I mean, I still feel my style sort of shows through like for instance, since I gave him some nostrils. And that's kind of it as far as my own style goes. But him and Sasha were a great duo. And even though Sasha taught him manipulation techniques, I definitely think he became a better toad in the end. 